Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Project DLM and all the features that are currently available in the software. If you have any issues with the program or need some assistance, head to the support channel in my Discord server in which I'll be able to help you in there. First, if you want to download ALM, which you can find in my Discord server, head to ALM download and it will be the bottom link in there where it is download here. Always download the latest version. Next, if you want to head into game, hit escape, go to save, save game, and make a new save. Click the console button, scroll right to the bottom, and as you can see here, there's a file location of where your save is. Take note of this as you will need it. Next, download a mod. Any mod on my Discord server will work straight away with ALM. If it's another mod, please skip to convert local mods to ALM section in the video. Since I'm downloading from Intnux, if we just head to the interiors, I'm going to install this interior here. If you look at the heading of each section, you can see which element you need to use within ALM. So since I'm installing from interiors, it says I need to use truck mod. So download an interior or whatever mod you want. Head to wherever you download the software and your mod. Extract the software and extract the mod. Next, head into Project ALM and open up the Project ALM EXE. Now, since I'm installing the truck mod, it's going to click on truck and I'm going to need to select the save. You would have took note of this from the console. So, select game SII. My location is already pre filled, but just head to your Euro truck. Your profiles, whatever the profile was, save, and whatever the number was, or if it was a quick save. Now, click on game SII. If you're always going to use this specific save, click on store last loaded save. Now, select downloaded mod. Select the downloads folder, and click the mod we want to install. Now, always click the folder before mod files. I'm just going to click select folder. As you can see, the mod files have been found. Next, click Install Mod. Now that the mod has been added, head back into game and load your save. Now back in game, as you can see, the interior has been loaded successfully. In this part of the video, I will show you how to install a trailer mod. So, since I'm in the trailer section of my server, all you need to do is just find the mod you want. Have a look what the post specifies. So for this mod, I need an SCS low bed. So I'm going to head into game, hit the trailer purchase, and find the trailer I need. So he has the low bed. It's going to purchase that. Make sure to go on to trailer manager and use the trailer. And finally, and finally, make sure to attach the trailer. As you can see, I have the trailer attached now. And just make a save. I have downloaded my trailer mod and extracted it here. So, head into ALM, head into trailer, head into select game SI, and select your save. Click on select downloaded mod and select the trailer mod. Again, click the folder before mod files. Select folder. The files have been found and just click install mod. Now this is installed, load your saving game. Now in game, as you can see, the trailer mod has been added successfully. For this next part of the video, I'll show you how to install interior add-ons and exterior add-ons. So, I'm going to install the Lightning McQueen car. As you can see, this is a dashboard item, so I need to put a dashboard item in my truck first. 
Heading to Eurotruck. Head to the closest repair shop. Click on truck configurator. Go to accessories and add a table. Just click on accessory slot and add any accessory you want. Preferably a unique one. So, let's place the Rocket League car. If I press the console, I can see the exact name of this add-on hookup here. Take note of this. Now that I've got this selected, just confirm the order. And make a save. Now, since this is an interior add-on, and it says at the top right here, use add-on mod in ALM. I'll go into ALM and click on add-ons. Next, select your game save. And select the downloaded mode. And again, just click before the mod files folder. Now I need to replace an add-on. I'm just going to open this up. And look through the list for the add-on we took note of before. So that was this call add-on here. I'm going to click on that. And click install. Now the mod has been successfully added. Lord your save. As you can see now that the save is loaded, I have the modded car in my truck. This part of the tutorial will show you how to uninstall mods. So click on uninstall in ALM. And you need to load your selected save. Mine is already loaded since I have saved my previous save before. So click on a mod to uninstall. Let's say I do not want the Lightning McQueen mod anymore. I will click on this. And click on install. Now if I go back into game the mod will be removed. As you can see with the save loaded the mod is being removed from my game. Next in the tutorial I'll show you how to use some save edits on your truck. So I have loaded the save once again. In here I'll be able to change my truck engine, transmission, money and experience. Let's say I want a 750 horsepower engine, I can click on this. And I also want the Volvo 6 gear transmission. Now I'll add an extra zero to my money, and an extra zero to my experience. So, click apply. Once applied, you can load your save. So as you can see in game, I'm currently level 61. Now after loading my save, I'm level 472 and if I check my truck I can see here I've got a 750 horsepower Volvo engine. Now I will show you how to convert a mod from a different Discord server such as Van der Rollen. So if I'm just going to choose this mod here, I'm just going to download this. Once downloaded I'm going to extract the mod. And please make sure that it has a text file with complete code inside the file. That means it does need a vehicle add-on accessory line. After checking to make sure all the code is completed, close the file. Head into ALM and click the settings menu. Select the text file to convert. Go to your download and convert the file. So I'm just going to click on this text file here. And as you can see it is being converted. Now if we go back to that file now, open up the text file, and take a look at this path here. So we need to find this file, which we can see here. So we just select this file, the PMD, the PMG, and the folder. We're going to move them into the mod files, Felix, Man 10, paste them here. Once done, this mod can be used to be installed in ALM without any issues. If you do have any issues, please join my Discord server and head to the support section and mention that you are having problems there and describe what problems you are having. Even if you download the mod from a different Discord server, do not go to their support section as they will not help you with any problems you are experiencing with ALM. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. With that being said, 
Thanks for watching.